Hey guys, welcome back to my craft room. So I am currently working on the fall market um, 6x6 paper pad and I figured I would go ahead and make the a tutorial on how to make these little treat boxes because um, I figured, you know, you might want it. <laughs> you might want the tutorial. <laughs> So what you're going to need is actually a 6x6 six six piece of paper. <laughs> so I'm going to use just cardstock. If you have seen my haul, you would have kind of seen, you know, snippets of all of these things I'm going to be using. You're going to start with your 6x6 six six and depending on, you know, you could use, um, pattern paper for this as well. It's just kind of your own preference. You could also cut down a piece of cardstock to 6x6 six six if you don't have just 6x6. Six six. So we're going to start off with our box and we're going to score at 1, 2, 4, and 5. Oops. And then you're going to flip it. So your lines are now horizontal. You're going to score at one and five. Ah! <laughs> it went a little wonky there. All right, so then you're going to go on in here and you're going to cut this line right here. So your five and then just right on up to just those two squares. I guess that's an easier way to say it. So again, on the other side, just those two squares. On the other side, just those two squares. And again, just those two squares. All right, now we're going to go ahead and um, fold everything, make sure everything has a good score. Oops. Just each piece, or each line, I guess would be a better way to describe it. I'm just going to go ahead and for fold <laughs> and score. I'm going to try and combine those two words. And then you can go ahead and use these two squares and just score on that line. You don't have to score the individual square. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tape. What you're gonna do is this top one, you're gonna go ahead and put your tape down. I'm gonna do two lines just to make sure I've got it down. Oops. And then you're going to go ahead and flip it over, and on each of the two squares, you're going to go ahead and put your tape. Periodically, you know, take it up. If you want to, you could put it together and then do these longer pieces. You could tape those later, but I find that it's easier to just do it all in one. <laughs> so then you're going to go ahead and take your one inch pieces, your end pieces, and you're going to take those little squares and just fold them right on that line. And then you're going to bring that, that side piece up. And then you're going to make sure that tape is stuck down really well, like so. Oops, that one's not quite down on the way. And you're just going to do that for all sides. And then once you've got that down, you can go ahead and fold over that overhang, that side piece. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put your tape down now. Or glue. I think it'll be a little hard to do wet glue. Maybe hot glue would be fine. But if you have the tape runner, use it. <laughs> so much easier. All right, so that is our box. Now we're just going to need a piece of, um, well, we're going to do our belly band. So this is kind of more up to you. 
but I'm going to do a 1 inch by 6 inch and if you're going to use a non 6 by 6 piece of paper then you could do a 1 by 7 and that'll make sure that it actually um, you know wraps around <laughs> and then you're also going to need a 1 and 3 quarter by three and three quarter piece of backer paper. So now I found that Dove Chocolate fits perfectly with three in there. So what I'm gonna do is just do three lines of glue. And then I've got my Dove Chocolate. And oh my gosh, I found these ones with, ah, oh no. <laughs> little pumpkins on them. That's actually kind of what inspired this project. I found them and I'm like, oh, oh, I gotta do something with them for fall and Halloween. So I'm definitely gonna make some Halloween ones too. So now if you wanted to, you could just put them in there like that. Or what I'm gonna do is just put, put it in a little cellophane baggie. You can find ones that are actually that size, but I'm just gonna use what I have. <laughs> and put the little guy in there down at the bottom and take the little thingy off here wrap it around make sure it's tight and then stick it down so it's like that and then we can just put it in like so boom and then with our belly band, we're going to go ahead and score at one, two, four, and five. Just give it a good squeeze, <laughs> pinch. <laughs> and we're going to take our, I'm just going to be using this pack here. I've already used the, I'm using the truck, truck, trunk. <laughs> the fall is in the air as well. So I'm going to use the truck again. Let's see where he is. So we're going to go ahead and kind of eyeball it, I guess. We're going to need it to be... Okay, so right here and right here. Give it a good, you could also use hot glue, you know, use what you got, and then we can go ahead and put it on. Like so. You could even, oh, you know what would be a good idea is to do it that way. Oh, but then your pumpkins are going the wrong way. Eh. I mean, I think it's cute already. I do kind of think maybe I need to put a sentiment or something on it. I don't know. I'm not sure yet on that one. I think it's because this one just, you know, has so much to it. I feel like this one's kind of playing again next to it. <laughs> so there we go. That is how the 6x6 treat box, I guess, we'll call it, <laughs> um, is how I made them. So don't forget to um, look forward to using up the whole paper pad. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me while I showed you how to make the treat box. We're stuck here. There we go. <laughs> and I hope you're having a crazy day. Good crazy, not bad crazy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.